Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2019 statistics. Today we will discuss about these four questions related to the maximum likelihood estimator as well as the estimator 8, 31, 34, 35. Let's quickly see what these questions suggested you. Question number 8 is of the one marks and you have to find the MLE of this parameter theta. Question number 31 is you have to find again the estimator but with the help of the method of the movements and it is of the two marks. Question number 33 is related to the consistent estimator of this and when they are normally when they are distributed identically and independent again of the two marks. And the last question is of the 34 which is related to the MLE of this distribution and again of the two marks. So you can see this 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 that is your 7 marks you can get it in a very simple manner. What is the concept behind is try to learn from this video. So let's see this is of the question 1 so 1 mark so you have to provide your 1 minutes in yourself so that you can get the right answer. How you can get the MLE? So that's a very simple task is there. Whenever there is a task of the maximum li likelihood you have to define a function L called as the likelihood of this F here. So whenever you have to substitute this value and if you get the product what is that this is theta raised to power n because summation is varies from this and product of here. Now since it's a very difficult to task the product of this what you can do is you can take the logarithm of this. What is that this is I can quickly do that this is here this is nothing but my here. Now since there is only one unknown parameter so you need only the one differential equation you can put them as a derivative of this and a zero. What will happen this is my here plus what's uh, derivative of this so this will be nothing but my this log of x i is a zero. This is the first derivative so can you find the value of theta from here you can easily find the value of theta from here is this one. Thing. Now is it the maximum? How you can check that is a maximum you can find the second derivative of this. The first derivative is my here, second derivative will be my this which is always be less than 0 so this is the maximum. So the right answer of this is my here. You can check which one is the option is this is the right answer. Look at the question number 31. Now you have to find the maximum likelihood estimators of this by using by the method of the moment speed. How many unknown parameters in this PDF is? How many unknown parameters you have? only one that is a theta. It means the method of the movements will need only one equation. So what is the method of the movements are there? So you have to find the mu1 first movement, second movement and so on. Since there is only one unknown parameters so we need only for the first movement here. So what is the first movement is this is x into f of x dx. Now you can solve that limits are from my 0 to this. So what is that if you substitute the value of here what is that this is 2x square of this. Now what is the answer of this if you integrate them it will be my x cube by 3 from 0 to this. So what is that 1 will be cancelled out this upon 3 and this is the mean of this. How you can write the mean in terms of the sample is here. Now what is that your target is to find the value of theta. Can you find the value of theta from here? You can easily I think you can easily find that what is that this is 3 by 2 n of here. So is there any right answer appears in here? You can see the right answer is my a is my right answer. So this is the way you can simplify them. If there are the two unknown parameters then you can find the second moment also that is the x square of fx that is the variance are there and so on. Look at this question number 38 you have to find the consistent estimator. So let me know firstly let me tell you what is the consistent estimator. So if I say t is the consistent estimator of gamma what is the meaning of that? This implies that expected value of the t is my gamma and variance of t will approach is 0 as n approaches infinity. Then only you can see t is the consistent estimator of this gamma. Now it is given that it's a consistent estimator so what you can do is you have to find the expected value of this. How you can do that? That's very simple. You can do that ex find the expected value of this. Find the expected value of this. How you can find that? This is nothing but my summation is outside. Expected value of the xi. What is the ex since they are 
identical as well as independent having the mean is this so what is the answer of this numerator part this is nothing but my here that is of this how you can solve this this summation is outside because they are independent also so i can write like here how you find this value is there so this i can use with the help of variance so i can try to find this value from the variance what is the variance of this is given to you as of theta so what is the value of this is nothing but my theta plus of here so what is the right answer is this here now since you need to be the dividing sign so what is the right answer of this is here plus of this so what is that this is 1 upon is there any right answer a is the right answer of this problem you can see in a very simple manner you have to just find the expected value of this expected value of this and then try to use them by using this rule look at the question number last this again of the two marks are there you have to find the mle so what is what you can do is you have to firstly find the l of corresponding to this if you substitute the value of the f pdf here what is that this is nothing but my half e raised to power of this now what is that this is half is multiplied with the n bar so this is nothing but my summation of here now since it's a very difficult task are there so what you can do is i can take it as a, as a logarithm for the simplification easier so this will be n log of 1 by 2 minus of this now what is that if you take more simplification this will be my minus of 2 it will be here plus of n theta now take the partial derivative with respect to this what will happen this is n is 0 which is not possible is it possible no it means the maximum likelihood here is not working so what you can do is that for that the maximum likelihood estimators is based on the order statistics so it means if it is ordered statistics are there what are those options are there it can be of the minimum it can be of the maximum or it can be of the kth moments are there so it means it has more than one order one uh, maximum likelihood of this theta so it means the answer is it's not a unique so remember that why it's not a unique because once you are trying to solve this with the help of this mle you can see that this when you take the derivative as a zero this value is my is independent of theta or the sample size xi that's why this value is a this this means this parameter this means you are unable to find the value of this theta therefore this is a uh, not a unique likelihood estimator of this theta in our next class this lecture was on here uh, these two lectures we already covered in our previous one and now we will cover these two lectures in our next part so since you can see that more than 25 questions we will cover out of 55 of this course gate statistics which will help you in the coming examination till then you can simply subscribe this channel for for more updated videos best of luck students